Clara here and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below video days for our next video um today I'm going to be doing a Q&A with questions you guys gave me on my Instagram I put up a poll asking for some questions and I got plenty of answers so let's get started first question are you happy at your new gym well, I've been here for over a year now at Manjax, and yes, I love it so much. It is so fun. We have such great coaches and such great supportive teammates, so yeah, I like it there. Um, are you planning to do NCAA gymnastics? NCAA is probably one of my goal like outcomes for the sport. Um, I've always thought it would be so fun to be a part of a team and to be able to like, compete in a big team competition and support everyone, and to just go to the U.S. for school has always been a goal of mine. Are you of Portuguese descent? I do have some Portuguese in me. My dad's family is Portuguese, and my last name is Portuguese, so yeah. Next question. What is your favorite thing about competing elite? My favorite thing about competing elite is all the opportunities I get. Like, I get so many opportunities to travel and to meet so many new people and go all around the world, so yeah. What is my middle name? My middle name is Elizabeth. So my full name is Clara Elizabeth Raposo. What's your favorite skill on each event? Let me see. My favorite skill on vault would definitely be double twists and aminars. They're so fun. Um, bars, I would say shafts and rays. Beam, full and dismount. And straddle full. Floor, double layout. Um, what is my YouTube channel? This is my YouTube channel. Um, Clara Raposo is its name. Um, it's in my bio on Instagram, so go check it out, which you're already on because you're watching this video, so yeah. What is my, um, oh wait, are you a lefty or a righty? I am a lefty, righty, it's kind of confusing. I was like, when I was little, I did everything on my left leg. But now um, I've been moved, so I do everything going forwards on my left leg, going backwards on my right leg. And then if I'm doing leaps, it's on my right. But my dorm more dominant, like split and stuff, is my left, and I hurt on my left. So, yeah. What's my favorite event? Uh, my favorite event to compete is for sure floor. And favorite event to train is bars or beam. Kind of them all. Kind of like training them all. And floor. Actually, in vault. Vault's sort of boring. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, next question. What do you like most about gymnastics? What I like most about gymnastics is, like, the feeling that I'm flying, almost, and being able to be, like, un like you know, getting to do whatever you want or, like, trying big things and just being able to, like, show off everything you've done and progress. And I just find it super fun, so, yeah. Um... What is your favorite competition so far? My favorite competition f so far is for sure Junior Worlds. It was so fun and such an awesome experience. Being able to meet so many people from all different countries was so fun. And going to Hungary, so warm. Being able to see different parts and different places, it was so fun. Next question. Um, do you compete as an Aspire level? And if so, at what age? I did compete as an Aspire. I competed as an Aspire when I was 9 and then when I was 10. Um, when did I start gymnastics? I started gymnastics when I was 7. So, 2000 and... Wait, sorry. Let me figure this out. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 2012, I started gymnastics. Um, what, what do you eat before a competition? Um, I don't really have certain things I eat before competition, but I try to make sure I get my protein, carbs. Like, I want to make sure I get an even balanced diet and lots of vegetables and stuff. So, yeah. Um, when did you discover that gymnastics was your passion? Oh, well, I just sort of started doing it with my school friends, actually, when I was seven. And I just loved it. I loved the feeling of flying. I loved having, like, freedom almost, being able to do all this cool tricks. So I guess when I was seven, I guess seven and a half, is when I sort of discovered how much I loved it. And, yeah. 
What is your least favorite event? I would say I don't have a least favorite. Probably most, I don't know. Maybe my most boring to train would be vault because you just like run, you vault. But I really like vault, so I don't know. I don't really have a least favorite. What made you start gymnastics? Well, as I said earlier, I started gymnastics because my school friends were doing it. And I wouldn't have ever started gymnastics if it wasn't for one of my friends that was being signed up and didn't want to do it alone. So I joined her with gymnastics, and I loved it. And they didn't ever really move on, but I found it super fun and kept on going with it. So, yeah. Um, will you go to the Olympics in 2020? Um, I won't be old enough to go to the Olympics in 2020, but my goal is 2024, so maybe you'll see me there. What are your goals for next year? Well, I'll be a junior again next year, so I want to go make sure I, I want to make a few international competitions like with the junior Canadian team, so that's pretty much my goal for next year. And, to, yeah. Um, what is your best and worst gymnastics memory? I don't know. Um, my best gymnastics memories, for sure, traveling to Junior Worlds and, like, you know, being able to compete there. Worst? I don't know. Probably when I split the beam or something. But I don't think any of it's bad. It all ends up being great, and it's super fun. And any time there is a negative, it just turns into a positive because you do way more positives than you would negatives. So, yeah. Favorite skill, like, at all the events, like, not each event, like, overall for sure double layout on floor it is my favorite skill and i can't wait to compete it next year hopefully um my dad asked me a question saying hi clara i heard you your dad taught you the flipperoo how long did it take you to master it well dad you know the flipperoo was the hardest skill i ever learned it took me like three years to master, but I got it down pat now. Um, do you have to eat healthy for gymnastics? Um, yes, for gymnastics, you got to make sure you have balanced diet and stay healthy because you can't be able to put out all this effort and use all your energy in the gym if you're not eating healthy and not eating well. I mean, it is still okay to every once in a while have a treat or so, but it's healthy for the most part. Um... Uh, have you ever had a mental block? I would say, I don't know if I've had like a complete mental block, but I've had things where, um, like I will do a skill and then it will kind of like, I'll do it like them well, like an acro series, let's say. And then I'll do one where I mess up and it's not my best. And then it will sort of mess with me a little bit and I'll be nervous to go for it. But then I have to think to myself, I've had mental blocks before, or like I've had this stuff happen before. And I know I can do the skill, so I just got to push through it and do the skill well, and then I get over it. What level are you in? I am a junior high-performance gymnast. Yes. Um, tell us something interesting. We won't know about you. Something interesting. <laughs> Not that interesting. Oh, okay. Something interesting. Um, I really like to draw. I'm pretty good, I would say, at drawing and art. Um, and I've always wanted, my dream dog is an English bulldog named Gibson. And I can't wait till I get him one day, hopefully. Goals for gymnastics. What goals do I have? Um, goals I have for gymnastics is to make the Olympics and to get a scholarship. Those are my two biggest goals. Um, do you have Olympic hopes? Yes, obviously. I want to go to the Olympics. 2024, Paris, that's where I want to be. Okay. Um, would you rather a scholarship or the Olympics? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I could choose. The thing is, like, I want to go to the Olympics because it's, like, always been my goal in gymnastics to be, like, the Olympics just feels like the biggest competition you can go to and all this stuff because everyone hears about it. People watch it, like, even if they're not gymnastics fans. People watch the Olympics. So it's always been a goal of mine. And scholarship. I mean, like, scholarship leads to so many things because you, you get into a great school, you get to compete for funds, team, and then you get to move on in life and start other things. So I don't know. I really, really, like, want to do both. But I would say, I don't know. 
whichever one can get me to have my own TV show first. <laughs> because I really want to have my own TV show starring me. Because I like, I don't know, I'm, I like to talk. <laughs> when is your birthday? My birthday is May 8th, 2005. Next question, which was, where was I? Okay. How do you overcome fear? I would say I overcome fear by thinking about, because whenever I get fear on a skill, it's never the first time. Because I'm always excited to do the skill for the first time. And it's like, yeah, and it's super exciting. I get more fear when I was to mess up on it. So again, as I was saying earlier, I would have to think about how many solid numbers I did on that skill. And then only keep those in my head, mentally think, think about me sticking them, doing it well. And then I slowly come over the fear and like just go for it. And then I'm always like, you're not going to mess up on the same thing two times in a row if you know how to do the skill. So as long as you know how to do it and you know how to make a correction, you should be okay. And you just got it over. Just don't think about the bad ones. Only think about the good ones. How many hours a week slash day do you train? Um, in the summer we train 25 and in the year we train, or I train 27 to 29 sort of in the year. Yeah. Like sometimes it's 27, sometimes it's 29. So yeah. Um, how was hungry? How was the banquet? And I miss you so much. Um, how was hungry? Hungry was amazing. Super pretty. Such an amazing competition. Um, how was the banquet? It was super fun. We got to trade a whole bunch of pins and stuff with other teams, and we met lots of new people. How do I feel Junior Worlds went? I think Junior Worlds went well. Um, our team did really well, which was really good. Um, I came 23rd all around, which was super good. Um, I hit 4 for 4, and yeah, so I think Junior Worlds went well. How do you prepare before competition? Um, how do I prepare? I more I listen to music on the way to the competition and I try to think about nothing gymnastics related. I try to keep my mind completely off of it. And my favorite thing to do bef right before, like when we're warming, like before we're waiting to go, is to talk and to dance. Dancing and talking, my favorite two things, literally. Um, so that's always what I do before comp, and I like to sing too, even though I can't sing whatsoever. And yeah. Okay, so that's all the questions I got. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below video suggestions for next time.